listen to me very closely. If you don't have belief, if you don't have hope, if you don't have faith, you ain't got nothing. The first level to success in the classroom, the first level to success in school, the first level to success in sports, the first level to success in life. Listen to me, the very first level, the very first level is you seeing it. Like it's clear to you. Like you know exactly, exactly what you want. You know exactly when you want it. Listen to me, you know exactly what it tastes like. You know what it look like. You know what it smells like. Before you really blow up, blow up, and you get success, like you literally have it in the palm of your hand without having it. What does your dream look like? What does it smell like? What does it taste like? Who gave me five grand when I was at Michigan State doing my program? I didn't get a, I didn't have no budget. But I didn't need a budget. I had a dream. I didn't need no help. The president never came and said to me, ET, we're gonna help your program for this institution blow up. The president never came and I never quit. I never gave up. Why? Because it wasn't her dream in the first place. It was my dream. It was my goal. I don't expect you to believe in my dream like I believe in my dream. And the problem with some of y'all is you want somebody else to support your dream. It's yours. It's yours. It's your dream. If you want it to happen, get your butt up and make it happen. If you want it to happen, rise and grind. And I had a teacher in the PhD program to tell me I love it. She said, Eric, you don't write well enough to get a PhD. I said, thank you. You're going to be the first person I call when I finish and sign you a copy. The people who blew up, they blew up because there was something that was going wrong in their life and they took that pain and they turned that pain into something. How do you go to class when it's 10 degrees and 12 inches of snow? You know how you do it? Because you know your mama broke and she working two jobs and taking on a loan for you to go to school. I laugh at kids whose parents are broke and they up there partying like everybody else. Your mama broke. Some of us, we taking our loans and sending it home so people can pay rent. That money ain't even going to college and we still going to parties. I'm saying, what kind of brotherhood is that? When you got my man up at two o'clock in the morning washing your car and going to get you groceries when you should be helping this kid to study. Listen to me, if you don't have hope, if you don't have faith, if you don't have belief, you ain't got nothing. I want my son to have a better life than I had. I don't want my son begging like I had to beg. I don't want my son to ever think he got to sell dope or he got to steal from the mall. Somebody say, E, what's your alarm clock? My passion. My dreams wake me up. I don't need no alarm clock. I'm going to bed pissed that I got to go to bed. Some of you going to sleep and you don't deserve to be, you don't deserve rest. You lazy, you don't deserve rest. Rest is for people who work. You ain't doing nothing. Every day you chilling. You need to know your why. And my why wakes me up every single morning. Why do you do what you do? Why do you do what you do? And that's so important. Look, ain't no more talking. This is it. If you ready to take your game to the next level in whatever it is, sports, life, business, whatever it is, health, listen to me very closely. You got to change that mindset. Somebody came up to me. They said, E.T., man, I'm tired, E.T. I'm tired, E.T. I put in the work, E.T. I'm not seeing the results, E.T. I'm ready to give up, E. I'm ready to give in, E. I did what you told me to do. I read the book you told me to read. I put in the hours you told me to put in. E, I'm doing it and I'm not seeing anything. My why is every single day when I wake up, every minute of the day, every hour of the day, I have an opportunity. Somebody who quit, somebody who gave up, somebody who stopped in life. I have the power at my nickname, the refresher. I have the power as the refresher to make you believe again, to make you get up when you got up three times and you say, I'm not getting up no more.
when you get to the point where enough is enough, when you get to the point where it hurt real bad, when you get to the point you can't take it no more, when you get to that point, I'm telling you, I can't explain it to you, but doors start opening, opportunities start happening, but what you cannot do is you cannot quit doing the process. My why, my why? I'm about to wrap this thing up. Listen to me, you can't make a difference until you make a decision.